Our universe is an extremely strange and mysterious place. Our species has gazed up at the sky for thousands of years, wondering if there is anything else out there. All of these questions led to the development of Galileo's telescope, which allowed mankind to study the cosmos and uncover objects that no one else had seen before. Since then, humans have made numerous advances, including the launch of telescopes into space. The James Webb Telescope, the most current of these telescopes, is expected to uncover some groundbreaking discoveries in space and has already generated headlines. The discovery of a galaxy that looks like the Upside Down is one of them. This is a huge breakthrough, guys. And in today's video, we'll talk about the James Webb Telescope's well-focused photographs of a galaxy that looks like the Upside Down. What makes this galaxy so unique? What exactly are the planets in that galaxy? The James Webb Space Telescope has already provided us with some of the most stunning images we have ever seen of the most remote regions of space. Judy Schmidt recently published an image that she had conjured up from the data of the Phantom Galaxy, which is a spiral galaxy located roughly 2 million kilometers away from Earth. The common name for NGC 628 is Phantom Galaxy. This is a galaxy that some astronomers believe is shaped by a black hole at the center of it all, creating a horrifyingly stunning cosmic whirlpool that is reminiscent of something that one might see in the Upside Down. Unexpected new findings from NASA's James Webb Telescope point to the possibility that the placid, peaceful brim of the Upside Down galaxy is actually concealing a violent history. Scientists have refined the James Webb Telescope image in order to obtain a more distinct perspective of the galaxy. There appears to be a massive black hole at the heart of that galaxy, just like there is at the center of every other galaxy. However, in the case of this upside down galaxy, many things are weird in comparison to other galaxies. These most recent observations of the galaxy by NASA are turning conventional theory on its head. They show that only a tiny fraction of older, metal-poor stars are found in the halo. In addition to an unexpected abundance of metal-rich stars, which are typically only found in the galaxy's outer regions and the central bulge. Even while the image of the upside-down galaxy exhibits none of the chaotic indications of a recent merger of big galaxies, Major galaxy mergers in the past are a probable explanation for why the galaxy is in the wrong orientation. In point of fact, this galaxy has always been a little bit strange, which is precisely why it's so fascinating to study. Another sign that this galaxy has a lot to teach us about the assembly and evolution of galaxies is the fact that scientists speculate that its stars may have an abundance of heavy metals. The studies made by the James Webb Telescope of the Upside Down Galaxy are flipping on their heads our generally accepted knowledge of the composition of galaxies and the metallicity of their components. As far back as human history goes, people haven't come across such a strange galaxy. The image of the galaxy Upside Down is so mesmerizing that it has been considered a favorite by both professional and amateur sky watchers alike. This is due to the picture's brilliant beauty as well as its intriguing structure. An extended halo of metal-rich stars has been discovered around this galaxy, but there is hardly any indication of the expected metal-poor stars that have been detected in the halos of other galaxies. This is a new chapter in the unusual story that has been unfolding in this galaxy. Researchers were stumped by the findings from the James Webb Telescope, so they may turn to complex computer models in order to propose explanations for the inverted version of standard galactic theory. These findings point to the equally astonishing likelihood that large mergers took place in the galaxy's past, despite the fact that the first analysis of this galaxy's beautiful structure did not reveal any signs of recent disruption. There is a good potential that, in the future, we will come across some unexpected discoveries and have some ideas about how they might explain what is going on in that galaxy. One of the most significant aspects to think about in this context is how the time domain will operate in the galaxy that is upside down. There is a chance that time will function in a very different way in that galaxy. Because of the odd time dimension, 
It's possible that if humans are able to live there, they may not age at all or will age much more slowly than in our galaxy's Milky Way. This is because time may pass either too quickly or too slowly. In any case, the finding and investigation of that galaxy will provide us with additional information regarding it in the next few years. In addition, astronomers anticipate discovering earlier generations of stars with a lower concentration of heavy elements, also known as metals, in comparison to the densely populated stellar cities that are found in the main ring of a galaxy. The galactic life cycle process is responsible for the creation of elements, and the longer a galaxy has had stars going through this cycle, the more element-rich the gas is and the more metallicity the stars that form from that gas have. According to the prevalent school of thought, these younger stars with high metallicity may often be found in the main region of the galaxy, which is the region with the highest stellar population density. The existence of numerous irregular ancient star clusters that are deficient in metals further complicates the situation. The older, metal-poor stars are supposed to eventually move out of their clusters and become a part of the broad stellar halo. But that process appears to have been ineffective in this galaxy, as it is clearly shown in the picture that is inverted upside down. When scientists finish comparing the results of their research with the most recent computer simulations, they will hopefully have an answer to the question of what could have led to the formation of an unexpected galaxy that is upside down. Aside from that, there are a number of hypotheses that propose the inverted galaxy went through significant accretion or merger events billions of years in the past. A major accretion is the merger of two or more similarly massive galaxies that are rich in later generation stars and higher metallicity stars, as opposed to the Milky Way galaxy, which is thought to have swallowed up many small satellite galaxies over the course of billions of years in so-called minor accretions. Only stars with a low metallicity that were primarily composed of hydrogen and helium at the time of the Big Bang were found in the satellite galaxies. In order for later generations of stars to contain heavier elements, nucleosynthesis had to take place within the stellar innards of earlier generations of stars. This process worked better in larger, more advanced galaxies, but it was rather inefficient in smaller galaxies like the ones that orbited around our own Milky Way. The findings from the image of the upside-down galaxy are intriguing because its seemingly uninterrupted formation does not exhibit any evidence of interruption in the image that is currently available. In comparison, the distorted appearance of several interacting galaxies' spiral arms, which is caused by the tidal forces of their contact, is how numerous interacting galaxies, such as the well-known Antennae galaxies, receive their names. Galaxy mergers that involve galaxies of comparable masses often result in the formation of giant, smooth, elliptical galaxies with extensive shapes. This transformation typically takes billions of years. However, this galaxy does not exactly meet the criteria for being classified as either a spiral or an elliptical galaxy according to the conventional definition of those terms. It's a hybrid that falls halfway in between. For the time being, Scientists are doing studies to determine how such inverted galaxies would have initially originated and constructed themselves over the course of time. Research into the halo metallicity distributions of many galaxies located at distances comparable to those of this galaxy will be carried out as a follow-up study. The examination of this peculiar upside-down galaxy will hopefully be continued by future observatories, which the scientists are looking forward to. The James Webb Telescope, which will have a field of view a thousand times larger than that of Hubble, will be able to take a continuous image of this galaxy while simultaneously picking up more stars in infrared light and having a more profound sensitivity to the infrared spectrum. In short, many spectacular images have been released by NASA from the James Webb Space Telescope. These images showcase interconnected galaxies in which some are upside down, the death throes of a doomed star, and a phenomenal nursery where gigantic young suns are being born, lighting up with gale-force solar winds that sculpt vast clouds of gas and dust. 
The sights that can be seen from Webb are, in the eyes of astronomers, nothing short of magnificent. And we will see more surprising facts of our universe in the near future, thanks to the James Webb Telescope. That's all for today's video, guys. You can share your thoughts about JWT and the Upside Down Galaxy in the comments section. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. See you in the next video. Cheers.